this video, I will show you how to fix the issue of Aptoid TV app not opening on your smart TV. So in my previous video, I showed you how to download and install Aptoid TV on your smart TV. But if you're still having issue trying to download Aptoid TV apps on your smart TV, then in this video, I'm going to show you two things that are absolutely going to fix this issue for you. So what you just want to do is to go ahead and launch the Aptoid TV app on your smart TV. And then what you just want to do is to scroll down until you get to settings. And then you want to go to settings. And then you want to scroll down to preferences. Now you want to scroll down again and go ahead and click on clear cache. Now you want to go ahead and click on OK. And the cache of your Aptoid TV app will be cleared on your smart TV. Now you also want to come down here and click on delete data. Now go ahead and click on OK again. And now, once you're done with this, you want to come over to your Aptoid TV app and try downloading any app on the Aptoid TV app. Trust me, this time it is going to work absolutely fine. But if it still does not work for you on your smart TV, what you just want to do is to come over to the home of your smart TV, go over to the settings of your TV, just like so. And then you want to come down to apps, click on it, and then you want to go to see all apps now you just want to go ahead and click on aptoid tv and then you want to scroll down and click on clear data just like so click on ok and then you also want to go ahead and click on clear cache that is if the cache is still available for you now once you clear both the data and cache of your aptoid tv on your smart tv you want to go back to the aptoid tv app Open it up and trust me, this time it is going to work perfectly well for you without any issue. You can now go ahead and try downloading any app and it is going to work absolutely well without you having the issue of Aptoid TV apps not opening. If this video was helpful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.